silly example, but it gets the point across. Overuse injury. And no, I don't usually do that with my chair every time I sit down. You might be able to tell by the name, overuse injuries are caused by overuse. Overuse injuries are injuries that happen over time. More specifically, repetitive movement caused microtrauma or stress to a certain body part that is not able to heal or repair itself as quickly as it is getting damaged. Let's break that down. Pun partially intended. If you perform a movement repeatedly that damages a muscle, tendon, ligament, or bone, like in such little amounts that you don't even notice at first, and then keep doing that movement, eventually that damage is going to get bad enough to where it is noticeable, then become common, and then prevent you from doing things. That is an overuse injury. Because they happen over time, it can be much more challenging to pinpoint a cause compared to acute injuries. Acute injury being one that happens suddenly. Overuse injuries can also be caused by multiple variables. Some things that may lead to an overuse injury include repetitive improper form or technique, repetitive excessive load, or repeated insufficient recovery. Regardless of the cause or causes of an overuse injury, there will usually be similar phases. Phase one, there may be very little or no pain at all. Maybe just a little discomfort, but then it goes away. Phase two, that minor discomfort becomes a little bit more common. It might show up a little bit during the activity or you might feel it after you're done doing the activity. Phase three, that discomfort may turn into pain during the specific activity or movement and it might get worse and worse throughout and then phase four you have pain or discomfort all the time at this point you'll definitely feel it during the movement that causes it but also maybe in everyday activities as well that's a full-blown overuse injury these phases can progress over weeks or months in a perfect world you would recognize that discomfort in the early phases and then try to make some changes and adjustments to avoid making things worse. But the world is not perfect. If an overuse injury is not treated, it can develop into what is called a chronic injury or chronic pain. Chronic injury or pain is an injury that causes pain for several months or longer. This can be a result from an untreated overuse injury, but also can occur from untreated acute injuries as well. This is why I can't stress the importance of treatment and recovery enough. Unfortunately, chronic pain is way more common than it should be. Lack of education or knowledge and access to medical care can make it challenging for people to properly treat and recover from their injuries. Also, treatment and injury recovery isn't cool. It can be a lot of work. Sometimes people think it's easier and cooler to just be tough and ignore it. But you're smarter than that. Because you know these tips for preventing overuse injuries. One, always use proper form and technique when performing movements and exercises. Two, make sure you progressively overload. So don't do too much too fast in your training or activities. Three, give yourself adequate or enough recovery time. And four, when you notice some discomfort or pain, Make some adjustments, figure out what's causing it and how you can avoid it. Learning about injuries, treatment, and prevention can be a long process. So be patient and give yourself the time to learn your body as you also learn these concepts. Hopefully this was helpful and informative so we all can stay healthy and keep doing the things we like to do. Keep it straight up. Peace.